好的，我们第二部分呢，来看一下第三题和第五题。那么第三题呢，大家应该都非常熟悉这个规律了。我们是先阅读一段文章，然后再听一下听力。我们来看一下 TPO 六的阅读材料。Currently, all of the seminar classes in the history department are three hours long. I would like to propose that history seminars be shortened to two hours. I made this proposal for two reasons. First, most students just cannot concentrate for three hours straight. 我们一定要注意啊，这里面谁做了什么事，而它的原因又是什么？我们接着来看。I myself have taken these three-hour seminars and found them tiring and sometimes boring. Also, when a seminar lasts that long, people stop concentrating and stop learning. So the third hour of the three-hour seminar. Is a waste of everyone's time. Two-hour seminars would be much more efficient. 我们来看一下这个题目的要求 The woman expresses her opinion about the proposal that her friend Tim made in his letter to the newspaper. State her opinion about his proposal. Explain the reasons she gives for her opinion. 那么这个题我们在审题的时候啊，就会发现我们有几个部分要作答。首先要总结一下他的朋友 Tim 的观点，然后呢，我们还要说出这个女士对他这个朋友 Tim 的观点有什么看法，然后再给出他给出的理由。所以这个题是不需要我们给出自己的建议的。我们来看一下这个答案，大家可以对照一下。Tim proposes to shorten the seminar to two hours because most students can concentrate for three hours straight, and students stop learning at the third hour. 那么这个地方呢，其实就是对阅读材料的一段总结了，是比较好抓的。首先，我们抓一下 who and what and why 就可以了。The woman in the conversation totally disagrees with the proposal. She says Tim is not a typical student. 那么为什么呢？我们来看一下。He stays up late every night, and that's why he can't concentrate in the seminar. But most students aren't like him. They all come to seminars with good rest and preparation. Also, 第二条 Tim always sleeps in the classes. He doesn't know that the third hour of a seminar is the most important part because that's when students begin discussions and start to exchange ideas. So the last hour is the most worthwhile part of a seminar and shouldn't be cancelled. 那么这一点啊，我们就看出来了，非常完整，思路非常清晰。那么也是需要大家来学习一下。好的，我们来看一下第七套题的第三题。首先，我们还是一样，先阅读一下材料。University administrators announced yesterday that a sculpture program, a division of the art department, will be eliminated. The main reason is a lack of students' interest, reported one administrator. Although the number of art students has increased, fewer and fewer art majors are taking sculpture classes. 那么这是第一部分的内容 Furthermore, the department's only sculpture professor is retiring this year, given the art department's limited budget. The administrator explained, "It just doesn't make sense to hire a new full-time professor to teach sculpture for only a handful of students." 那么这个地方我们审出啊，那么谁做了什么样的一件事，然后他们给出的原因是什么？那么现在呢，我们了解了这部分材料的内容，大家可以试着进行总结，然后抓住这样的一些重点词，然后我们来听一下听力。Now listen to two students discussing the article. Everything all right? Yeah, I'm just upset about that article I showed you this morning. Why? What's the big deal? Well, as an art major, I think it's a big loss for the department. The university's got it all wrong. What do you mean? Well, the low enrollment isn't because art majors don't want to take these classes. Problem is, who has time to take them when there are so many other requirements? I don't understand. See, the classes they're eliminating are all optional. The required courses are mostly painting and drawing, and they take up all our time. What we really need are different requirements. Then art majors could take a better variety of classes, all the things we're interested in. That makes sense. But the thing about the professor. Well, that's true. But still, they're being drastic. If money's the problem, they could hire a part-time professor. 
or most of the professors in the department have secondary fields. Really? Yeah. At least a few painting teachers are also great sculptors. I'm sure one of them could teach a class. 好的，听力听完了，我们来看一下。那么这个题目的要求呢，同样的是让我们给出这样一个事实的一个陈述，然后再把这个女士她的观点表述出来，然后把她的原因揭示出来。这个要求是基本一样的。然后大家可以对照一下这个答案，学习一下这个答案好在哪里。The university is planning to discontinue the sculpture course because students lack interest in it, and the department's only professor is retiring. The woman in the conversation thinks the university has got it all wrong. The low enrollment in the sculpture course is not due to students' lack of interest, but to students' lack of time. Sculpture course is optional. The required courses, such as painting or drawing, take much of the students' time. Besides, the woman thinks the university can hire a part-time teacher to teach sculpture course. There are many professors who have secondary fields. For instance, many painting teachers are also good sculptors. The woman is sure that these professors can teach the sculpture course. 嗯，这个地方呢，我们就看到啊，首先把那个阅读材料总结了一下，然后把这个 woman 的观点呢一二摆出来了，并且做出了一些比较细节的添加。所以咱们在听完听力材料后啊，一定要。好好利用咱们的笔记，然后整理出这样一个比较清晰的思路，学会用这样一些连接词。那么接下来呢，我们来看一下 TPO 第六套题的第五题。那么第五题呢，首先是啊，咱们审一下题，然后听一下听力材料，主要是靠听力的材料来进行作答。首先，我们来看一下这道题的要求。The professor proposes two solutions to the problem the woman describes. Briefly summarize the problem. Then state which solution you recommend and explain why. 嗯，这一点呢，还是啊，一个女士遇到了一个问题，还是一个 dilemma。那么这个 professor 给了她两个 solutions， 我们就要进行总结，还要说出自己支持哪一种，建议她使用哪一种。那么首先呢，我们看完这个材料以后呢，先听一下听力，大家一定要记得做笔记哦。Now listen to a conversation between a professor and a student. Hi, Sarah. Uh, to what do I owe the pleasure of this office visit? It's my study group, Professor Wilson. We're not getting much studying done, and you know, none of us did very well on your last quiz. Hmm. What's the problem? Well, we've all become good friends, and we joke around a lot instead of studying. Hmm. Sarah, let me ask you this: When do you meet? Every Friday afternoon. Have you thought about changing to another day? By the time Friday afternoon rolls around, all of you are probably exhausted, and all you want to do is relax and unwind. It's hard to stay focused at the very end of the week. Good point. Although things have gotten so out of hand that I'm not sure changing days would help, and we'd lose one or two people if we change days. Friday afternoon's the only time everyone's available, but it's worth considering. Okay, but just a second. Another possibility is: Does your group have a leader? No. Well, if you had a leader, that would help enormously. Someone to set an agenda in advance, email it to everyone before the meeting, and then make sure when you meet that you stay focused on your goals. And since you seem to be concerned enough about the problem to have come see me, I think that someone might be you. I guess I could take on that role, but it sounds like work. You don't have to do it for the whole semester, Sarah. You can start it off, and then perhaps someone else can take over. 好的，听力听完了，相信大家啊都抓住了一些关键词，我们可以啊跟这个答案来学习一下，对照一下。The woman's study group has got a problem. The members all become friends and they all joke around instead of studying. The professor proposes two possible solutions. The first solution is to change the time they meet. Currently, they meet on Friday afternoons, but students are exhausted at that time. And they all want to relax and unwind at the end of a week. But the woman says everyone has already got their own schedule. If they change time, they may lose members. The second solution is to find a leader. The leader can set the agenda, 
email to everyone else before the meeting, and then make sure everyone is focused on the topic when they meet. 那么大家这个时候就要陈述自己的推荐了，是吧 ？The professor says the woman is suitable to be the leader, but it sounds like much work to the woman. 那么这个地方大家就要陈述自己的观点了。I would recommend the woman to take the second solution. If she's worrying about the work, she can just be a temporary leader and later let other members to do the work. 咱们一定要选一个观点，然后呢，在咱们加上一两句话的陈述就可以了，不需要太多。那么这样就是咱们一个比较完整的答案了。我们来看一下 TPU 第七套题的第五题。然后同样的，我们来看一下这个题目的要求其实差不多的。我们要看一下这个女士的问题是什么。然后把这个问题啊告诉大家，同样呢还要把这个给别人给他提供的 solutions 总结出来，然后还要说出你支持哪一个，并且告诉大家为什么。那么同样的，我们看完题目要求之后呢，我们来听一下听力。Now listen to a conversation between two students. Hey Jennifer, how are things going? Well, I'm relieved it's the end of the semester, but that's actually part of my problem. What do you mean? Can you believe this? My computer broke yesterday, so it's at the shop being repaired. It won't be ready until the end of next week, which is when all my papers are due. Why not use the computer lab? They've got lots of machines there. I know, but it gets so noisy there that I can't keep my mind on my work. I mean, when I'm at the computer, I'm not just typing; I'm thinking. So I need quiet to concentrate. Maybe you could try going in the morning or evening. It might be less noisy then. Maybe. But this time of year, everybody's working on papers, and it could be crowded even then. Hmm. What about calling back the computer repair shop to see if they can have your computer ready at the beginning of next week instead? That would still give you enough time to finish your papers by the end of the week. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. The only problem is that the shop is closed today and tomorrow for the long holiday weekend, so it would be a few days before I could talk to them. 好的，听完了听力呢，我们来学习一下这个答案是怎样的一个架构，然后也是非常清晰的。我们要先把它的问题总结出来。The woman's computer is broken and won't be back until the end of next week, but it's now the end of the semester. All her papers are due next week. The man gives her two possible solutions. The first solution is to go to computer club. Well, there are lots of machines, but 纠结在这里了 The woman thinks it's so crowded and noisy that she can't concentrate.、Mm. The second solution is to call the repair shop to ask if they can fix the computer quickly and give it back to her at the beginning of next week. Then the woman will have enough time to finish her paper. 同样的，出现一个困境。But the repair shop is closed today, and tomorrow it will be a few days before the woman can talk to them. I would recommend her to choose the first solution, since time is limited and is not sure whether her computer can be fixed in time. Using computer center is her only choice. Even though the computer center is crowded and noisy, it's always possible to concentrate on work. 嗯，这一部分呢，我们就看到啊，首先陈述这个女士的问题，然后把两个 solution 非常清晰的表述出来，同样的把自己的观点也表述出来，然后之后呢，我们用一两句话来解释清楚为什么我们支持这样一个观点啊，只要我们的说法足够符合现实，比较符合逻辑，咱们就可以比较顺利的把这个答案组织起来了。那么以上就是第二部分的全部内容，谢谢大家。